everyone welcome back to another video and today let's talk about the upcoming transit of Jupiter in Rohini nakshatra so Jupiter moving into a nakshatra of its friend that is moon so definitely this transit is about reviving yourself okay Rohini comes from the word Roha Roha means to increase, to take things to a higher level, to make things grow, to increase the quantity of something, to increase the value of something. So the theme of Jupiter in Rohini is growth, it's abundance, taking something to the next level in your life. It's not a time to quit to leave things in middle no focus on your goals and you will see the growth you will see the abundance okay and you know rohini is connected to the brahma brahma is the creator so we often say rohini is about creation but more than creation it's the willpower to create which is important and here the life force jupiter in rohini is about working on that will to create something in life how do you use your life force your energy to create something so your willpower needs to be strong at this time and Rohini is all about nourishing something, making it more healthy and strong so that whatever you are creating, it can stand the test of time in the future. So yeah, it's a good transit, Jupiter in Rohini, if you really want to grow something in your life, whether it's your finances, whether it's um, of the quality of your relationship, whether it's a hobby, whether you want to work on your health, whatever goals you have, Jupiter here will help you to grow. But remember, ultimately, this is Taurus as well. Excess of anything, too much of indulgence can really stunt your growth as well. So moderation is something which you really have to take care of. So. The overall theme for Jupiter in Rohini is growth. It's nourishing yourself, whatever aspect of area you think it needs nourishment. It needs that gentle care. And also it's a wonderful transit if you want to start something, you want to create something and not a good transit to leave things in middle. So today, let's get started. Let's understand how Jupiter in Rohini Nakshatra will work for each and every ascendant. And you can listen to this analysis as per your moon sign as well. For Aries, Jupiter will transit from Rohini Nakshatra in your second house and the Nakshatra Lord for Rohini. Moon rules over the fourth house of domestic front, with security. This is a house so significant with respect to the happiness. Wherever you are, how happy you are over there how that place looks like home it's not just a physical home but how you are a home to yourself so this transit of jupiter in rohini is bringing growth it's bringing abundance where you are treating yourself with a lot of love and you are creating security for yourself by carefully managing your finances by carefully bringing more ways of uh, making your life better it could be investing into a scale maybe investing into certain things which 
are going to make your home more secure or more beautiful there's a lot of advancement happening in two aspects one is the wealth and second is how you are taking care of yourself your home how safe you feel in a place and also how you are connecting with your people your family investing your time into such relationships which are going to grow with time because the theme of this transit is abundance putting your time and efforts into something which needs that elevation that peak and growth so i think the major focus is towards self care valuing your efforts giving value to uh, the purpose you have and giving more value time quality time to your loved ones and there are a lot of changes which may happen with respect to your home purchasing of a new vehicle may happen so there is growth with respect to luxury abundance but most importantly on a soul level i think jupiter in rohini is bringing the need to nourish and take care of self because from here you are preparing for a journey with respect to your work with respect to maybe you know uh, expanding your family uh, working on uh, a connection this is about people right now so before you embark on this journey to take care of others this is about nourishing the self taking care of your own needs for taurus this transit of jupiter in the rohini nakshatra is happening in the first house this is going to give you a lot of growth and success in your chart jupiter rules the 8th house which is about transformation and this entry of jupiter in rohini brings a sudden transformation in how you look how you groom yourself you you're going to enhance how you look and that change in personality maybe it's coming from how you take care of your health maybe how you are grooming yourself how you're getting ready but this change is essential maybe it's because of your work you need to be more presentable maybe it's just that it's been too long you're not taking care of yourself and you have certain plans these plans could be the future financial plans it could be the career plans because jupiter not just rules the 8th house but the 11th house of achievements and over there we have rahu right now so there is a plan with respect to travel maybe with respect to work maybe with respect to a uh, certain assignment where you have to work along with a lot of people it involves networking so there's a need to take care of how you look how you dress up how you present yourself that will be a very strong aspect of your professional journey and jupiter is indeed bringing luxuries it's indeed bringing more financial abundance with respect to relationships i think jupiter may challenge you when it comes to you know being with someone with respect to love especially there is a challenge of being flexible the other person is not very flexible towards uh, making changes in the relationship so that may be uh, some obstacle and as jupiter is going into rohini and moon rules over the third house there is great enhancement in how you speak how you express your skills how you communicate and this will bring more better opportunities and fame as well for gemini jupiter will be in rohini nakshatra that is your 12th house and the nakshatra lord for rohini moon rules over the second house of family this is a very significant house with respect to wealth 
how you're able to um, save your resources. So what you are nourishing and growing in this time period is your finances, your wealth, how to manage your wealth. Because ultimately Jupiter in the house of expenditures. So there are a lot of unexpected expenditures happening with this transit of Jupiter. On one hand, it is enhancing the opportunity to bring more wealth in your life. But on the other hand, it is also increasing the expenses with respect to your health, with respect to your family life. So all important expenditures. It's not something which is extra, but it's all connected to you and your loved ones. But the beautiful part of the Jupiter in Rohini is bringing more security with respect to the mindset. Because ultimately Jupiter is 12 places away from the first house. First house is ruled by Gemini. So bringing more security, a sense of stability with respect to the mindset. The mindset towards family, the mindset towards the future security, the happiness. Trying to learn about the present, to live in the present. This is what Jupiter wants you to learn. To nourish what you have right now. To relish it, to enjoy the beauty of now. This is what your soul has to learn in this transit and jupiter indeed um, rules the seventh house of partnerships in your chart it rules the tenth house so you're definitely worried with respect to the future of your career of your relationship what will happen tomorrow but what jupiter in rohini wants you to focus on now focus on the loved ones you have right now around you nourish it Make it beautiful and strong with whatever resources you have right now. And this nourishment you are doing for self and for your finances, that ability to save and be patient, this is going to bring abundance. So there can be some blocks in the career. There can be some kind of a pause, some pause with respect to your friendships, important relationship, but it's not for long because the ultimate uh, thing is that you need to value and nourish what you have right now rather than worrying about the final result. For Cancer, Jupiter will be transiting from Rohini Nakshatra, which is your 11th house. And the Nakshatra Lord for Rohini, Moon rules the first house of your chart. This means there is extensive growth, there is extensive um, success here with respect to money, with respect to prosperity and abundance. Finally, some good opportunity coming in your way because even Rahu is in Pisces right now in the ninth house. So Jupiter rules the ninth house as well. And this plant is transiting from 11th house in Rohini. So Rohini is about movement and in your case, it is about movement, moving forward with a better designation, with better financial opportunity, with a promotion, with a work project, which brings that forward movement you always wanted. I'm not saying, okay, you are reaching to th that final destination, but reaching to a place that movement is required and you will see that forward movement yes saturn is in the 10th house sometimes it it feels very restricted and things are slow but jupiter will give you a good push and more than that see jupiter in the rohini nakshatra and the lord of rohini moon rules the first house of your chart there is a beautiful um, enhancement with respect to how you take care of yourself, how you treat yourself, your emotions, 
how secure and safe you feel you're working on that as i mentioned rohini is about nourishment the will to create something and here more than finances more than career the will to create a better you a secure you who who feels safe who is not always nervous and vulnerable because of others that someone else will come and this person will challenge me and how can i take care of myself you are learning that and this is a beautiful transformation some thing is blooming here beautifully about your personality about a talent of yours and it will make you happy jupiter also rules the 6th house so health issues connected to hormones connected to retention of fluid in the body if you are prone to these issues please take care of your health don't be stagnant a lot of movement and exercise is required for leo jupiter will be transiting in the rohini nakshatra which is your 10th house and the nakshatra lord for rohini the moon is ruling over the 12th house of isolation expenditures and subconscious now something about your work it needs to be changed no no need of changing your plans no need of doing something extra i think what jupiter is doing right now it's impacting your will power to do something which is actually very great whatever you are doing wherever you are there is lack of the will power and jupiter being in rohini it is directly not just impacting the 10th house but the 12th house as well you're trying to expand things with respect to your career your 10th house but how can it, how can this happen when the 12th house is not supporting it change of mindset change of how you perceive your work and your talents this is what is required here so jupiter's entry into rohini it clearly indicates what you need to grow and make secure and nourish in this time period is your mindset how much do you understand your work how much you respect your talents your your professional work you need not to feel insecure but nourish it make it even better by number 1 supporting your mind supporting your mindset support yourself nourish self and this is not just with respect to career but emotionally also you really need to heal and protect your energy and it will straight away give you great advancement in your professional journey so there is growth in the professional path but a lot needs to be changed with respect to the mindset and jupiter in your chart rules over the 8th house so indeed there is a rebirth there is a transformation big change happening in the career path it's going to happen and this this will enhance not just your finances but how the how the people are perceiving your work they will also be very attracted towards what you are doing the beauty of your talent and jupiter further also rules um, see you have rahu in the 8th house so this is what i was saying rahu in pisces overwhelming emotions and feeling a bit in insecure or uncertain about where life is taking you but again nourish your mind nourish your mindset faith is significant here for leo and don't um judge your talents support your talent support your skill set for virgo Jupiter will be in Rohini nakshatra that is your 9th house and the nakshatra lord for Rohini moon is ruling over the 11th house of achievements fulfillment gains friendships so Jupiter here is bringing great financial opportunities 
Jupiter over here may bring new work opportunities or some kind of promotion, a better designation, which enhances the future financial security. It brings that stability uh, in your life, material stability. And since Jupiter is in the ninth house and in Rohini, and Rohini is all about travel, there's definitely travel movement happening because of the work. Maybe it's a travel along with the family, or it could be traveling to a pilgrim or religious place, which is going to even enhance your journey, your life in a better manner, more luck, more happiness, as well and in your chart jupiter rules the seventh house where you already have rahu now this could be dealing with someone with respect to love or partnership who is demanding in nature this may create inconvenience someone maybe from the family or the home as well because jupiter rules the fourth house of home and also and this house greatly influences the emotional connections in life and Jupiter rules the seventh house of partnerships, collaborations, marriage. So dealing with people who are like family or a very close romantic partner who is demanding in nature. This person demands your time, demands uh, some kind of material benefit from you. So this may challenge you at this time but otherwise jupiter is bringing a lot of support and growth with respect to work money there is abundance there is um, as i mentioned jupiter in rohini is about nourishing a certain aspect of life preparing something for future and with this transit of jupiter in the ninth house it is about using your skills your knowledge in a certain manner which is bringing more uh, better career opportunities in the future. Doing some uh, major investment, which will help you on a long term basis. And for some people, it could also be, you know, you know, with respect to friendships, that you have to move forward, move beyond certain social networks, friend circles, because somewhere what you want in life, what you value, these people don't align with your values. So as I said, you have to grow something, nourish something. So you are nourishing a goal, a purpose which is so significant for you. And for that, you have to move forward in life. You have to move beyond certain uh, people and circles. For Libra, Jupiter will be in the Rohini Nakshatra, which is your 8th house. And the Nakshatra Lord for Rohini, Moon rules the 10th house of profession, 10th house of society, and 10th house of how the world views you through your work and actions. So this is about getting back to your state of dignity restoring something a part of you who already achieved something beautiful in life but some situation created problems that beauty that uh, part of you is lost and it's not gone completely that talent that beauty that achievement you you have it's still there but because other people are not appreciating you feel it's lost but now it's time to activate that to nourish that talent that achievement which you already have this is what you are nourishing in life in this particular time period and taking care of your health nourishing yourself so that if there is some chronic issue with health a long-term issue you're already dealing with it needs to go because if you don't nourish yourself right now it may impact the security of your work of your finances 
in the future so there's some kind of restoration there is some kind of uh, going back and bringing something to life number one it's your health health is very significant for libra because jupiter rules the sixth house over there you have rahu in pisces and then jupiter being the lord of sixth is transiting from the eighth house restoration of health restoration of emotional and physical health and this is also some kind of um, gain in wealth in a very unexpected sudden manner it could be through inheritance it could be coming through a partner and uh, it's a gain from someone very close to you and this will help you in moving forward in life with respect to your business and career or education whatever you want to attain but this is a very great transformation which you really need right now to come out of a very stagnant place and before you come out of a stagnant place you have to prepare yourself take care of yourself and this is what you are doing rohini is about movement so jupiter in rohini brings movement with respect to anything which is stagnant in your career you're trying to change it and it's not happening it will happen something is moving now going forward to go to higher level of success for scorpio jupiter will be in rohini nakshatra in your 7th house and the nakshatra lord for rohini moon is the lord of the 9th house of your chart so this is about new innings a forward movement with respect to relationships with respect to marriage with respect to romantic connections going forward in your connection more uh, work with respect to the emotional uh, compatibility understanding what the other person requires and the other person understanding what you require it's about nourishing your relationship and pisces rules the fifth house where the rahu is there right now so it is about some kind of a new inning with respect to love a forward movement with respect to love when it comes to business collaborations jupiter will support you jupiter is bringing abundance and great growth through the business and better business opportunities and even if you are not into business or you're not someone who is keen to know about relationships or relationships and so on the the activation of this ninth house because as jupiter is in rohini it brings great opportunities in life opportunity for travel opportunity for meeting new people opportunity for higher learning whatever you do there is great opportunity which enhances the quality of life there is a sense of positivity there is a sense of feeling more uh, secure about your journey you're proud of where you have reached that sense of fulfillment is coming for scorpio and also jupiter is the lord of the second house and it is transiting from 7th house in rohini so it is about some kind of financial um help which you may give to others to your partner to your business partner some major financial decisions will be made at this time and also you're trying to save more money because see the second lord is transiting six places away from the 7th house in rohini so trying to you know cut away those aspects of your journey or life which are really stagnating your financial growth and you really want to save more finances so working towards your money this is a major theme of this transit for sagittarius 
Jupiter will be in Rohini Nakshatra, which is your sixth house, and the Lord of the Rohini Nakshatra is the Moon, which is ruling over the eighth house. So for Sagittarius, there is a need to nourish number one, your health, nourishing your emotional and physical needs, taking care, taking a pause, and taking care of self. Because as I mentioned, Jupiter in Rohini is about nourishing a certain aspect of life. Jupiter is the life force. So you have to give a pause and take care of something very significant. And as Jupiter is your first lord, it is about taking care of self, taking care of how you are using your finances. You will be uh, trying to get rid of certain financial loan or debt at this time trying to manage your finances this is what you are learning here and the, of course the moon is the lord of the eighth house so as jupiter is in rohini in the sixth house it could be also about certain fluctuations and changes at your workplace change of uh, authority change of the atmosphere around you the people around you some kind of a minor change is there which may look a bit inconvenient initially whatever the change happens in your life in this period what you have to learn is to uh, be flexible with respect to your mindset and your emotions and there is some kind of um, rebirth happening here with respect to how you deal with your problems you are breaking a big obstacle in this transit and this obstacle is more of emotional in nature you're getting rid of it till now you were feeding this obstacle whatever was the problem is and now you are trying to recover you're focusing on your victory you're focusing on your financial abundance because you have ketu in virgo in the 10th house so there is some obstacle with respect to work and jupiter is giving fifth aspect on ketu so this is going to bring some forward movement especially again with respect to how you are mentally dealing with the problem there's a big shift you'll be more optimistic and definitely moving away from home because you already have rahu in pisces in the fourth house and jupiter in rohini there is some travel because of work or there's a travel it's all happening because you want this change with respect to atmosphere to have this uh, a moment of relief to take care of your health and your mind for capricorn jupiter will be in your fifth house in rohini nakshatra and the nakshatra lord for rohini moon rules the seventh house of alliances business partnership collaboration marriage and of course these two houses fifth and seventh house is greatly responsible for love and romantic connections so jupiter brings forward movement with respect to your skill set with respect to your potential it's time to go higher to use your skills in a better manner some hard work is required you are nourishing two things in this transit as i mentioned jupiter in rohini is about growth it's about abundance and nourishing a certain aspect of your journey so the first thing you are nourishing is your skill set you if you already have a skill set you don't have to uh, make yourself more perfect in that it is just how you use it how you enhance your work using those skills okay it's all about 
the use so you are going to make it even better your skills how you're using your skills how you are working there is upliftment and through that people will appreciate you you are in the limelight it will bring some fame and popularity the second thing you are nourishing is definitely your relationships and your connections it's about forward movement going beyond a certain person a certain connection and learning about what you want in a relationship and what is important for you in a relationship it could be new innings with respect to love finding someone special but for a lot of people this transit of jupiter in rohini in the 5th house which is also the house of purva punya and moon ruling the 7th house it's about wisdom i have learned something in my current or previous connection romantic bond and now i'm much wiser and i should not allow that same mistake to happen again forward movement with respect to love and emotional stability respecting yourself respecting what you want in a connection so going forward and making better connections with the people better collaboration better friendships this is where you are doing all that nourishment the community how you are dealing with people how you are interacting with people maintaining healthy boundaries relationships this is what you are learning because see um, jupiter is aspecting your first house which is ruled by capricorn okay and of course it's in the moon's nakshatra so seventh house is also uh very much activated right now so first and seventh house both are greatly influenced by the jupiter right now so it's about nourishing uh yourself and nourishing your connections because ultimately jupiter is in the sign of venus so you have to learn a lesson with respect to relationships with this transit where to invest your values your time and from where you have to really run away so learning a lot of lessons with respect to people and how to you know protect your energy how to be it's not about detachment and running away it's about the exchange of love affection exchange of gifts exchange of um the values so how to do the give and take learning that art this is what is the major theme for capricorn and jupiter is also ruling the 12th house for capricorn people so this transit in rohini is definitely about nourishing your mind healing yourself and fading away of difficult memories with respect to love and important family bonds as well going beyond a stagnant emotional state which happened because of other people and definitely you're going to monetize your skills much better you are getting this abundance and reward and growth with respect to your work so finances will get better for aquarius jupiter will be in rohini nakshatra that is your fourth house and the nakshatra lord for rohini is the moon which is ruling the sixth house of your chart this is definitely about nourishing of your surroundings nourishing of the place where you live it's not a great time to be in a place where everything looks hostile everyone looks like enemy you have to go beyond this place where you have a lot of people against you or simply it's about in in your mind you know that there's certain people who are against you and your mind is so focused into it that you cannot look into the good things of life you cannot appreciate what you have and who you are so this transit of jupiter in rohini is about revival of um 
happiness revival of your surroundings your atmosphere you're making your surroundings more peaceful nourishing your mindset nourishing your home making things more softer beautiful so you can be happy wherever you are and it could be that you are dealing with some people who are like family but they are uh more like an enemy with respect to the emotional uh compatibility because see right now rahu in pisces in the second house of family and jupiter in the fourth house and of course it's in rohini so sixth house is also activated the moon house so there are people within your uh circle the, the circle of family and loved ones who may not appreciate you they might be against you so you have to protect yourself and you have to nourish yourself right now and this is also about what you consume with respect to food with respect to emotions so you should focus on the good things make your surroundings better eat better food and there is definitely forward movement with respect to finances trying to uh get rid of any any kind of financial debt removing uh these financial debts this could be your prime focus for some people it is also about purchasing a vehicle purchasing ornaments whatever makes your life more luxurious there is a great focus on luxury as well but yes if there is some conflict because moon rules the 6th house any conflict uh, emotional conflict or litigation issues i think jupiter in rohini will bring forward movement to resolve these challenges but the entire focus is definitely towards home and emotional uh, fulfillment taking care of your mindset For Pisces, Jupiter will be in Rohini nakshatra. That is your third house, and the nakshatra lord for Rohini is the Moon, which is ruling the fifth house. There is happiness coming through children. There is happiness coming through your creative work projects. There are better opportunities with respect to career, with respect to meeting certain people who will help you to enhance. your wealth they will enhance your ability to expand to your work and reach to different places so your reach is increasing jupiter rules the 10th house of profession it rules the first house of self and being in rohini in the third house it is definitely about travel because of work it will bring financial abundance or in general it is forward movement with respect to career with respect to your higher learning and whatever efforts you are putting into this travel this study it will give you abundance you are nourishing the aspects of the third house and also the fifth house is growing expanding this fifth house is about potential it's ruled by moon so great expression of your skills and your talents and the only struggle is that a lot of times you may feel that others are not exactly giving value to your work to your expertise to your contributions and this should not stop you from moving forward because ultimately see the moon rules this house of purva punya fifth house and moon is about different phases in life so there are times when you will grow you will be supported there are times when your efforts will not be appreciated in fact your efforts will be ignored so light and dark phases of life and jupiter in rohini uh further enhances this theme of life that there are times when you will grow and appreciate it there are times when you're not given enough credit for what you are doing but this should not uh impact your courage this should not impact your decision making ability you should 
continue with your plans and your goals do not stop at all because if you stop you destroy your entire progress so continue with your dreams continue with your goals this travel because of work and it will yield financial abundance as well and uh meeting with old friends or some kind of celebration is happening for the pisces people 